You want to have books that reflect the student body, but I think what gets lost in all of this is that they don't really seem to want to include our ideas or our viewpoints or our cultural backgrounds if it doesn't necessarily agree with what they're trying to do. So, you know, they, they say that they want, you know, a diversity of viewpoints and all these things. Then when we try to offer books that reflect our values and our ideas and, you know, our understanding of reality and truth, suddenly it becomes problematic and we don't belong there. So it, it, it is concerning to, to kind of see the, the hypocrisy there. Yeah. Um, I think you're right. And I think it's been interesting because I absolutely think it, you're correct that children should see themselves in the books. But I think sometimes what we've seen in the past 10 years is that a lot of these books have been written um, for, you know, it, trying to be marketed to different identity groups, but then it, it's kind of uh -huh. keeping with this group think idea where that <clears throat> everyone who looks a certain way or lives in a certain place is going to think in the same way and have the right. same beliefs. And that is just not true.